You see a weapon in Monster Hunter and you think, that weapon sounds cool, and then you try it out for yourself and think, whoa, 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 what does any of this mean? Well, I'll explain the fundamentals of how to use them all. This is not the definitive way or meta way to play. There will be some great moves and in-depth mechanics that I won't talk about. This is just the basics and some simple combos to get you started. Timestamps are in the description if you want to jump to a certain one. Also, I'll be using the default control settings for everything. Basics for every weapon. The most important thing to remember is context-sensitive button inputs. Buttons do different things at different times. X is take out your weapon, Y is put your weapon away. For almost every weapon, you have to sheath it first before you can use an item. So Y to sheath, Y again to use items. When your weapon is put away, ZL plus X or A is wire bug for moving around. When your weapon is out, ZL plus X or A is wire bug special attacks. When attacking, different moves will activate depending on what move you did previously. For most weapons, running an X is a draw your weapon attack and a good combo starter. And you can press B to roll out of ending animations for the cost of a little bit of stamina. There's no true lock on like in Zelda games for instance, but you can focus on big monsters by first clicking in the right stick to select a monster in the top right corner, and after you pick a monster, you can recenter the camera on the monster by pushing the L shoulder button at any time. For these next sections, if I say plus, that means hit both buttons at the same time. For example, X plus A means hit both an X and A at the same time. Alright, here, here we, we go. go! Great sword, it's all about charging up then swinging for big damage hits. X button is your charge attack. Press and hold it to charge it to level 3 then release. Level 4 is too long and is actually weaker than level 3. The key is to wait for the white charge. A button is your wide swing and then some moves after that. A combo you can loop is X, X, A. You can go into your true charge slash by using an X attack, then pressing down plus X, then pressing down plus X again for big damage. Also remember to hit B to roll after each charge swing so you're not a sitting duck with your sword stuck on the ground. ZR is to block. It's okay. A move I like is the hop off the dog attack, where if you're at a full sprint, you press B to jump off, press X to charge, and then whamma bamma banana slamma. But if you only do this move over and over again, the hunt would take a very long time. Long sword. You hit the monster with regular attacks, then hit it with special attacks to make your sword better. X button is an overhead slash. A button is a stab. Bread and butter combo you can loop is XXA. X, X, A. X and A together is your fate slash, makes it go woohoo. Hitting a monster with any of these moves will fill up your spirit gauge in the top left corner. Pressing ZR is your spirit blade, which is your big wooshy wooshy four move combo attack that uses your spirit gauge energy. If you land the final hit of the combo on any alive monster, then your sword gets better for a limited time. You can repeat the process to make your sword even better and better. After any attack, press ZR plus B to do a special sheath for a few seconds. And if you hit the the X button and land that attack, your spirit gauge will start increasing automatically. And if you instead hit the ZR button again, you can use your spirit gauge to do a big attack and minor attacks won't stop this attack. Sword and Shield. It does fast and light hits. It's pretty simple. X is sword attacks, A is sword attacks. You can mix and match them. Two pretty good combos are XXAAA and XXXXAAA. X and A is a jump attack. In the middle of a combo, you can press X and A to do a spinning attack. ZR is your shield. X or A will do attacks while shielding. If you keep holding ZR, you can press Y to use an item without having to sheath your weapon first. Only weapon in the game that can do this. Pretty useful. Dual blades. Lots of quick hits. ZR is activate demon mode. Your stamina will slowly drain, but when you're in demon mode, you're faster and better. Your B button roll turns into a quick little shimmy. While in demon mode, you can use combinations of X moves, A moves, or my my favorite, X plus A moves to do damage to fill up the demon gauge. When that bar fills up, you go into arc demon mode and you get the demon mode buffs even when you're not in demon mode. Bonus tips because dual blades are awesome. Hit ZR plus A in midair above the monster to do the Levi attack from attack on titan. Hammer. You have short range, but focus on hitting the enemies in the face to stun them. X three times is a three move combo. A is a side swipe. ZR is a charge move that drains your stamina. There are three levels of charge and you can move while charging. What move that is depends on if you're moving or standing still when you release it, and if your gold hammer stance or blue hammer stance in the top left. Gold attack while still looks like this. Gold attack while moving is a spin move. Press X before the spins are done to do a golf swing. Hit A while holding a ZR charge to switch between gold and blue hammer. Blue attack while standing still looks like this. Blue attack while moving looks like this. I believe blue hammer is generally more powerful than gold hammer, but if someone wants to, they can explain the difference in the comments, because this hammer stance stuff is pretty
pretty new. Hunting Horn. Basically, you use certain attacks to put notes on your scale and then play those songs to buff up you and your teammates. Your song's available depending on what hunting horn you're using. X then X is one song, A then A is one song, X plus A then X plus A is one song. These songs activate as soon as they're on the staff. Press ZR to play self-improvement, which increases your movement speed while your weapon is out and your weapon won't bounce off monsters. Or, you can press one of each note to get all three notes on the staff, then press ZR plus X to play. This gives you all the songs at once and is called the Magnificent Trio. You can play a special INFERNAL Melody by hitting the monster a bunch to fill up this meter, and then press ZR towards the end of your Magnificent Trio or at the end of the Silkbind Move slide beat. Lance, it's all about poke poke poke, big shield. X is poke. Press XXX to poke poke poke. A is upward pokes, which I've heard are slightly stronger if they hit properly. AAA is poke poke poke. X plus A is a wide sweep and you can charge it. B is a hop instead of a roll, and you can do it in four directions. After either set of three pokes, press B after poking to do a hop and reset your combo. So poke 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 hop, poke 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 hop. ZR is shield. ZR plus A is power guard, which you'll automatically counter during. ZR plus A, then hold B, is powerfuller guard, but drains your stamina. ZR plus X plus A is run, which you can slide with B during also. Gun Lance, poke and explode. X is poke move, a is explode move. You can charge up the explosions by holding A. A simple combo you can do is X, 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 A, A, or poke, 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 explode, explode. You have a limited number of shells you can fire. ZR is shield, ZR plus A is reload your shells. X plus A is upward swing. A combo I like is X plus A, X, A quickly to release all of your explosions at once. Worm State Cannon is that blue thing in the corner. Think of it as your bed bugs attack. It gradually damages a monster if you land it. Reload it also with ZR plus A. There are many combos to get to it, but if you press A at the end of a combo, often it'll be this move. A, 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 your third A move will use it. Charge an A explosion attack, then press down plus A to release your bed bugs. Or you can combine everything you learned and press X plus A, X, A, A again. Wyvern Fire is X plus A plus ZR. Big explosion, but you can't use it again until your meter runs out. Switch Axe, you got an axe mode, you got a sword mode, and oh my god, they've added so much stuff to this thing since Gen Ultimate. Axe combos, X a bunch of times is an attack, it's fine. X plus A is an up attack combo, it's fine. You can mix and match for different moves. A is your wild swing, which strains your stamina. After a couple wild swings, press X to finish the combo and enter maximum potency, which makes you better. And you'll see little up arrows there. You don't even have to hit anything with this move to activate it, you just gotta do it. You can switch between X mode and sword mode by pressing ZR. Lots of times you can do it in the middle of combos, and you can draw your weapon directly into sword mode by pressing ZR. In sword mode, you've got X attacks and A attacks, and also sword Sword mode is generally stronger than axe mode. Every attack in sword mode, hit or miss, depletes your sword gauge. If your gauge goes below the little white line in the middle and you sheath your weapon, you won't be able to go into sword mode. Your gauge fills up on its own over time, but if it's below the white line, you can fill up a big chunk of it by pressing ZR to reload your axe. If the small border around your sword gauge fills up all the way by hitting the monster a bunch of times in a row in sword mode, then you will go into the amped state, which adds a little explosions to both sword mode and axe mode attacks for extra damage. Amped state charges faster if you have maximum potency from the wild swing active. Press X plus A in sword mode, then mash X a bunch of times to use an elemental discharge, which is a big explosion. If you do this while in the amped state, you'll hop on the monster and do a crap ton of damage. It's awesome! So basically Basically, here's a summary flowchart. Axe mode. Press A to wild swing. Press X after several wild swings to get your yellow arrows. Then sword mode a bunch until the white border fills up all the way. All attacks will have extra damage. Press X plus A to do buku damage.
charge blade. You've got a sword mode and an axe mode. Basically, sword mode to charge energy while hitting monsters, axe mode to release that energy. In sword mode, X does a combo, X plus A is a jump attack, press and hold A to do a sword swipe to charge your files quickly. My go-to combo is X, hold A, X, hold A to charge your files super quick. The files in the top left will start to glow when you charge them. To store your charge, press ZR plus A. Yellow glow charges three files, red charges all five. If you overcharge, your attacks will bounce off the monster, so remember to store your charge. ZR is your shield. To switch to axe mode where you don't have a shield, press ZR plus X. You can then either press X plus A or just hit A a bunch of times to unleash the charged energy for a bunch of damage. During this big unleash energy move, you can press ZR in the middle of it to instead charge your shield to make it better at defense and to power up axe mode attacks. With your shield charged up, when in sword mode you can press ZR plus A, then press and hold X in the middle of that animation to charge your sword, which gives it extra damage. To review, X hold A, X hold A to charge your files quickly, ZR plus A to store your charge, switch to X mode with ZR plus X, then X plus A to unleash your energy. That's the basics. For extra stuff, during X mode X plus A, press ZR to charge your shield. With your shield charged, press ZR plus A, then hold X to charge your sword. See, this weapon isn't that complicated. There's totally not even more stuff I'm leaving out. Insect Glaive. Launch your bug, collect juices from the monster, hunter gets better, whack it with the pole, floor is lava. Press ZR plus X to launch your bug to gather juice. If it gathers some juice, the bug icon will light up. Press ZR plus A to recall your bug and collect your temporary juicy buffs. There's different colors of juice. Small monsters give one random color, and with large monsters, you gather the juice from different parts of their bodies. Different juice has different beneficial effects, and it's nice to have all three, but the most important one to always have active while fighting is the red juice. You get that from the most aggressive part of the monster, which will usually be the head, but for example, if a monster attacks a lot with its tail, it'll be the tail. You can mark a specific part of the monster by pressing ZR plus R, what? And the bug will consist fly to that part. Then you can attack the monster with your X moves and your A moves since they'll be way better with the juice buffs. Forward plus A is a great combo starter. Of course this weapon is also known for never touching the ground so press ZR plus B to pull vault. You can extend your air time by pressing B to air dodge and again by pressing A to do a helicopter attack. With these you can change directions midair while you're in midair. If you land the A move at the right time you'll bounce off the monster and stay in the air even longer. Pro tip, in the full game when upgrading your bug, it'll make sense, prioritize upgrading its speed as much as you can. Basic ranged weapon techniques, basically stuff that applies to all three that I don't feel like saying three times. You have infinite basic ammo and arrows, but limited special ones. You can cycle through different types of ammo and coatings by holding the L shoulder button and using B and X to scroll up and down through them. Different guns and bows are compatible with different types of ammo and coatings, so be sure to check your weapon stats in the full game. I can't show it here in the demo. When you're shooting, you want to stand at the right distance. Not too far away, but not too close either. While every damage is damage, basically just watch your aiming reticle and damage numbers and try to stand where they are the highest. You can hold ZL to aim, and the game turns into a third person shooter, where you can look around with the right stick. If you're, say, a Splatoon player, you can even go into the menu and turn on gyro aiming. While your gun or bow is drawn, the right shoulder button becomes your wire bug button instead of ZL. There aren't really too many combos with these weapons, you just kinda shoot them. Light bow gun, ZR is fire, hold ZL to aim, X is reload, or just keep trying to shoot with ZR and it'll auto reload. A is place a trip mine, you can place them and they'll damage any monster above it. X and A is a melee attack. That's pretty much it, just shoot them. Heavy bow gun, same controls as light bow gun, hold ZL to aim, ZR is fire, pressing and holding ZR will charge each shot. I don't know if every Every heavy bow gun will have this in the full game, or if the one in the demo just happened to have one equipped, but if your heavy bow gun has a shield with your gun drawn, stand still, face the monster, and press nothing to shield and reduce damage. X plus A is a melee attack with your gun. Press A to load your super ammo, then hold ZR to do a butt ton of damage. After you've shot them all, it recharges on its own over time.
time. Bow! Same as before, hold ZL to aim, ZR to fire. Press and hold ZR to charge your shots. You start at level 1 and you can charge up to level 3. And different types of charges do different types of arrow shots depending on what type of bow you have equipped. I don't have time to explain them all here. Charging takes stamina, you can move while charging, and after firing, you can press A two more times to fire power shots two more times. Firing these bonus shots will cost stamina, however you can be at zero stamina and still shoot both of them. X is to apply coatings to your arrows, and different coatings have different effects. Remember to press X to actually apply the coating to your arrows. It's not just enough to scroll through it and select it, you have to press X to put it on. A is a melee attack where you slash with an arrow. X plus A is your dragon piercer, which is a slow type of special charge super arrow. B button after a shot is a little shimmy. Oh, and there's this weird coconut arc shot attack where if you hold ZR then press A, instead you spread the area with a buff. What type of buff that is depends on what type of bow you're using, probably. But in the demo, it's a healing buff for you and your allies. That's it, that's all the weapons. Thank you for watching and don't forget to test out that subscribe button down below for more Monster Hunter and more stuff on other games. I currently stream Monster Hunter right here on YouTube every Monday night. It's called Monster Hunter Monday, so feel free to swing by and say howdy when you do. I wrote this by playing the game a bunch myself and also watching people way better than me at the game. I mostly made this just for a lot of people I know for whom Rise will be their first ever Monster Hunter game. Uh, please let me know if I got anything wrong or if anything gets changed in the full game. I'll update this video with the pinned comment down below, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, that's it. Video's over.